viewers welcome back to coach's desk and uh, of course everyone by now should have known that the football fraternity has been hit with the passing of three of its members you have Danny Lynch coach and administrator big man stalwart in the sporting arena football arena Andrew Williams, former uh, Waterhouse player, and the latest, Luton Shelton. Of course, Coach's Desk sends out condolences to their families, relatives, former teammates, and friends. But we're really going to focus on Luton Shelton. Huh. It, it, it's tough, it's tough. You know, the former Jamaican national striker, Shelton, he can be considered as one of the most prolific goal scorer for the reggae boys. Um, he would have passed on today at the Andrews Memorial Hospital. Yeah? Um, the sad thing about it is that Luton was only 35 years old and the talented footballer was pronounced dead after he developed complications and was unresponsive when he was rushed to, to the hospital really sad I'm certain that his wife and children and other family members possibly are still in tears right now and disbelief um we we all know because the story came out some time ago that um shelter had been suffering from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis als or it is commonly called the lou gehrig's disease so this is a very serious serious disease people um this is an illness that causes the motor neurons inside the spinal cord to just die and over time what it does it, it is that it causes your muscle to degenerate progressively in other words eliminating the ability of the affected person to move you know what i mean to speak to even swallow so that will affect being fed. Um, it will continue until it eventually um, affect the breathing. So it's a very uh, grave disease. And only one man they said, Ted Arado of Los Angeles in California in recorded medical history ever recovered from ALS and it's interesting um, how Shelton was diagnosed with this um, illness because it ha he, 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 his diagnosis came to life in 2018 and it is alleged that it's 19 months after he suffered an injury while playing for Arborview which is a club that he, he started playing football for and it's a, actually the last club that he play for, played for yeah, it was a Premier League game with um, Arborview versus Tivoli Gardens sometime in February about, around about 2017 and that was his last match for Arborview you know what I mean? Um, Arborview, of course, is his boyhood um, club. You would have played for them in, in at a tender age. You would have been supporting Arborview. He also rep represented Ulmer's Boys High School. So big up to the Ulmerians. Yeah, man, condolences also going out to the Ulmerians. Um, the Arborview Club. You know what I mean? Sad day in Kasafa. 
because all three persons who passed on are actually from Kasafa. You know what I mean? Now, Shelton had a very outstanding career. Um, he played for approximately a decade of football internationally for the reggae boys. Uh, he actually played 75 games for Jamaica, scoring 35 goals. And incidentally, that is the leading number of goals by anyone for the reggae boys. Um, it didn't just stop there for Shelton. And of course, he, he, he went overseas and played for a number of clubs in Sweden. Uh, he played for... Hessingborg IF played for England uh, in England, Sheffield United. Uh, a, a short stint there with Sheffield, but I could remember him playing a game against Manchester United. And he 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 is his is, is blazing speed and pace he, he, he terrorized that United defense. And uh, those who know know me know that Manchester United is my side and, and to watch Shelton a yard man a Jamaican reggae boy tearing apart Manchester United it was joy to see even though he was destroying my team you know what I mean um he went over to Norway played for Valerang played in Turkey Karabuk Spor, Russia, Volga, Nevsky, Nogorod. <laughs> yeah, at least that gave me a little laugh, you know. Um, so he would have played his, his trade across Europe. And, and kudos to his handlers. He played a game, his first international um, game for Jamaica. Interestingly, um, that game was played against Martinique in 2004. And you know, Luton would have scored four goals in that game. Four goals on his debut, but I can't recall another Jamaican doing something like that um, he played in three Conquer Cup Gold Cup yeah so you would very talented but very talented very talented very talented youngster can't take nothing away from this youngster. Yeah man and, and, and he would have he would have played in the CFU Club Championship for Harborview um Norwegian two thousand and eight. Um you would have gotten the run out cup in well he actually won the Norwegian Cup in twenty two thousand and eight. Run out 2010 Danish Cup run out in, in 2009 and in, in, in Turkey 2006 he won a knockout competition you would have been a part of three Caribbean Cup 2005, 2008 and 2010 yeah man so it, it, it would have been a, a very good career not just good outstanding career for the reggae boy there. Yeah man. For his boyhood club Arborview, Arborview he, he scored like about 44 goals for them. He was a talisman. He, he was a, a, a big, big baller. Yeah man. Now a lot of persons right across the world, right across CONCACOF, throughout Jamaica, they have been sending in a lot of you know, condolences to family members and so forth. 
this, this player is loved, if you ask me. He, he's loved because he would have served the country well. And he was just such a, a, a humble uh, young man. You know, um, the Minister of Sports, that's the Minister of Sport, um, Sports, Olivia Grange. And the Jamaica Football Federation have expressed deep sadness at the passing of former reggae boy. You know what I mean? And she said that um, she's really saddened at Luton's passing. I hope I was hoping you would have uh, made a turnaround, although his illness was one that was a great challenge. I continue to hope and pray for him. End of quote. You know what I mean? I, I could remember when, when, when Grange in 2018 made a presentation of a $5 million check for, from the Sport Development Foundation towards his medical care after he was diagnosed with the ALS. And that was very commendable on, on their part, you know what I mean? So, kudos to, to, to Auntie Bobsey there. She said that she will surely miss him and she know the entire sports fraternity will miss him and they are mourning as well. And she encouraged us to remember his, his family in prayer, especially his wife and children. They need that support right now. Um, trust me people, it, it's just sad. It's just sad, it's just sad, it's just sad. Uh, lose so many footballers in a week. Our connection to football is it, just sad, you know? Uh, um, you know, because he used to play with um, Sheffield United, they also send out some condolences. The Blades family, um, they send shout out Kanka Kof, sorry, they sent out their condolences. It's deeply saddened to learn that Luton Shelton has passed today, passed away. Um, many, 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 many persons, even Prime Minister of Jamaica, you know, sent his, his condolences. Um, to Luton Shelton's family. Yeah, man, my heart goes out to the family, friends, and fans of former reggae boy player Luton Shelton. Yeah, so that's coming from PM Andrew Holness. Billy Sharp remembered him. You know what I mean? The, the club that he used to play for. They remembered him, the Helsingberg, the Valerenga, you know, it, it was just, it, 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 it's good to see the amount of support coming in for Luton. That, that tells me that this youngster was, was loved. He, he, he actually impacted where he went to play football right across Europe. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a sad situation and, and we just want to continue to bear up the family members of, of relatives and friends of, of, of Shelton and, and just continue to, to, to show, show our love to, 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 to them because they need it at this time. They need the comfort, they need a the shoulder to lean on, you know what I mean? Yeah man, so Thank you for tuning in.